The universe hears what we ask for. When we think and act with positivity in our hearts, the universe responds. When we ask for happiness, peace and abundance, the universe hears us. If we focus on negative things such as conflict, death, greed and sickness and make those things the centre of our attention, then we're actually accentuating and contributing to those things. Protesters mean well since nobody wants conflict. However, by protesting against something, you're actually focusing your attention on it and bringing more of the same. Does anyone really want to deliberately contribute to a conflict by talking about it, thinking about it and focusing on it? If you do, then you're not a part of humankind. You obviously don't have love in your core and the absence of love is fear and loathing. We also need to remember that foes of today can become friends of tomorrow, proving that supporting everyone is the better option. Whilst it can be said that humankind has progressed to an extent, there are some things that we've invented that perhaps we shouldn't have, nuclear being one of them. How could we have allowed such a destructive force to appear in our world when it's evident that we're better off without it? We've seen the devastation that an accident can cause with the memories of Chernobyl. The risks to humankind, nature, the atmosphere and the planet are just too great for the risk. It appears that we're not alone in thinking this either, with the enormous amount of UFO sightings wherever there is nuclear of any kind. Perhaps it's time for us to take the hint from them and act. We're not just damaging our own planet, but we're also risking theirs. We can eliminate the risk by removing the cause, remove it entirely and disinvent nuclear. And if all countries and governments around the world did this and agreed, then the world is a much safer place. We would have eliminated the cause of suffering and we would have eliminated the cause of fear. We would have eliminated the possibility of devastation and we would have peace throughout the world, the ultimate win-win situation for everyone. Some would say, well, it's a great source of renewable clean energy. No, it isn't. There's nothing clean or positive in mining for plutonium and uranium, which are needed to run nuclear power stations. There's nothing natural or resourceful about nuclear energy. It's been proved that fossil fuels are from another age and are a pollutant. So what is the answer? Certainly a natural energy for our source of power, perhaps wind energy, well, it's not available when the wind doesn't blow and the turbines are constructed with concrete, steel and cables. It certainly doesn't sound very green. Also, wind turbines are a known killer for birds in enormous numbers. So that'll be a no for wind energy then. Fracking, perhaps? Drilling a hole deep into shale to let pockets of natural gas escape? Definitely not a good idea, as Mother Nature has shown us with the earthquakes that it can cause. So fracking can frack off then. There's tidal energy and hydro energy, and there's also solar energy. If we're looking for positive clean energy, then we need to look at what nature naturally provides for us. Some would say that hydro energy and solar energy are not 100% proof but they're at least a better and cleaner option for our planet going forward.